tribute to her father, a final song before Chabane was buried. He gave to Percy a small knife and said to him it was for the terrorists. And Percy thought terrorism was one of the carriers he could follow <laughs> in his studies. Our father personally did career guidance to his children at an early age. Percy indicated innocently that he would like to be a terrorist and he was terribly beaten. <laughs> and by that time, Collins was in exile. After some weeks, our father was informed that his son was outside the country. A cross-section of people spoke Chabani's praises. Because of his uh, commitment to help the public, uh, he sacrificed his life, he went to exile, he undergone to, uh, to the apartheid where they have tortured him, but they didn't reveal the truth because of the love of the nation. Well, he was a good leader, you know, all the way he, he was so good and straight to, the, to what he was doing. Chabane was buried at a local cemetery in his home village. So a moving day for many that were able to attend. Let's take a look at some more images from the events at the cemetery. The military officers escorting the hash that is carrying the coffin of the late Mr. Collins Chabani. A somber mood indeed. can see uh, one of those senior officers carrying the South African flag. Difficult time for the family as the last post is being sounded. 